Six years ago, this family home in Runcorn was a dream come true for Dawn and her family. Until she was told she owned the house but not the land it sat on, meaning she'd have to pay an annual ground rent, a fee that would increase over time. We were quite late on in the purchasing stage of the new build property. Um, we were told from day one that it was freehold. It only come to about, I think it's about two or three weeks before we actually, I think it's the part when you exchange contracts, we were told it was leasehold and it wasn't something that we were allowed to kind of rectify or change. So we've kind of been saddled now with that leasehold and the leasehold free every year since then. This year, Dawn's bill went up by 51%. From 350 to 530 pounds a year, she was ordered to pay within 30 days. You know, if you divide, you know, £530 over the year, you know, it's quite a lot of money still every month, along with the other increases we've had. Everyone's hundreds and hundreds of pounds worse of every month, and this is just an addition to that. Local Labour MP Mike Amesbury has been lobbying for total abolition of the leasehold system. He says residents are in desperate need of change. They're out of pocket to the tune of hundreds of pounds a year, and that can double every 10 years in a number of cases. It's quite a hefty bill for nothing. They get nothing in return. It, it goes to incredibly wealthy people and it's something which anti antiquated and needs to be put into the history books. A few doors down, Andy has also been hit with a 50% increase by the company that owns his freehold. Going forward, um, having £450 due on the 1st of January each year, just after Christmas, is not a great time to have a £450 bill that you have to find in one go. How does this make you feel? I've got absolutely no idea who this faceless company is that owns your freehold um, and who just sends you a bill each year, provides you with absolutely no benefits or services for that. Um, and, it, and yeah, it, it, you feel completely powerless. Families and households are already struggling with the cost of living crisis. On top of that, those living in leasehold homes like this are being landed with huge unaffordable bills. Campaigners are urging the government to move faster with legislation to end what they call unfair practices within the leasehold system. We don't want breadcrumbs. We want, we want to get rid of this system that is so corrupt and it's just completely unjustified. Politicians need to be on the right side of justice and that's with the people. Now, all eyes are on the government as new legislation progresses through Parliament this week. Leaseholders wait with bated breath to see just how far it will go to protect them. Siham Ali, ITV News, Runcorn. That is a lot of money.